this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create DHCP server on VLAN or how to create multiple DHCP servers on multiple VLANs my name is Talhali and you're watching Zonard Solutions tech channel where I upload frequently technical related videos alright so let's continue our VLAN session so I started with uh, explaining what is the VLAN, why we use VLAN and uh, how we create VLAN. So I created videos uh, how to create VLAN on Cisco, on Microtech because uh, these two are the devices I can have on my computer. I don't actually have any physical device with me otherwise I, I would love to show you whatever I have with me. Okay but uh, as the topic of this video let's jump to that so uh, I already created VLAN 11 12 and 15 on this Microtech so uh, we are going to create DHCP server first I will create just on VLAN 15 and then uh, I'll show you at how we can create multiple DHCP servers alright so first I'm going to the addresses as I told you like multiple times in my previous videos related to VLAN that these VLANs are actually you can consider them as a, a LAN as a local area network but they are virtual so we can assign IP addresses to them we can do whatever what uh, we can do on the actual physical LAN so uh, let me go and assign IP address so I'm gonna start with uh, 10.100 dot let's say the VLAN 12 12 dot 1 slash 24 so I'm gonna select the VLAN ID and uh, so 12 that represents the VLAN 12 apply and then OK so let's go to the IP DHCP server alright so uh, there is already an uh, DHCP server on Ether2, but uh, you can just ignore that one. Just click on DHCP server and select uh, VLAN 12, what uh, we are using in this video. Click next and it's gonna detect the IP address. Uh, I would say yes, and then it's gonna ask for the DHCP gateways, correct? And the give out IP address is starting from 12.2 to 12.254. You can uh, change if you want to, but if not, you can just leave it as it is. And uh, it's gonna ask for DNS server, which is going to be the DNS server of the router. So uh, on your uh, in your case it should be different but in my case it's uh, getting the IP address from this router the actual router what I'm using uh, for my internet so I'm gonna say yes and it's the least time uh, like for how much time it's uh, this DHCP server saved that MAC address to assign the same IP address to the same device so you can uh, configure that as as per your requirement like uh, most of the time I have seen it's uh, like in hours like six hours so you can remove this and and set six here so it's gonna be six hours so if the person is disconnected more than six hours so uh, it will be assigned uh, a new IP address the next time so you can see I have created a DHCP server the interface is VLAN 12 IP pool as well so let's go and verify uh, is it a correct IP pool there you can see so now it's proved it works as a actual physical interface right okay so uh, you can do the same thing on the other VLANs like assign the IP address and then go to the DHCP server and then uh, select the interface and you can create as many DHCP servers as much you want I'll suggest you for the testing purpose like create at least 5 to 10 DHCP servers 5 to 10 times practice so you know you are doing everything perfectly fine see all the features what you're doing uh, what you're selecting so that way you are understanding standing will grow and you'll be expert in Microtech. If you want to learn how to create a hotspot server on VLAN, you just need to click on that thumbnail on the right side, you will be redirected to that video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell icon.